welcome back to my channel, Jaylee Vlogs. So today I'm coming back to you with a cute makeup look. This look takes me about 35 to 40 minutes to create. So if you want to learn how, stay tuned. Okay, the first thing that I like to do is moisturize my lips just a little with Baby Lips from Maybelline. And I will go in first with my face makeup with the concealer from Tarte. And this is in the shade 34S Medium Sand. So you see that I am just dotting the concealer and I'm not using too much of it. Okay, because when I blend it out, it'll be much easier to blend out. Now that I'm done with the concealing part, I am going to go in with my MAC Water Weight Studio Foundation and C30. Now that my foundation is evenly smoothed out onto my face and skin, here's a very good tip on applying foundation. When applying the foundation, you notice that I blend the foundation out towards the hairline and around the neck. This is because you don't want to just have the foundation sit on top of your hairline and that just makes it look like you're masking your face. So you don't want to make your makeup look like it's a mask. Instead, you want to create the illusion that it's part of your own skin. It's your real skin. Okay. And of course it is your real skin. It just, with foundation, it smooths out all the lines and any imperfections, making your skin look so much more beautiful. And for my brows, I am going to use the brow contour stick. I start with the dark shade first, and then I go in to draw my lines. And I apologize again if I'm looking this way because my side mirror is over here. I frame my brows at the bottom and the top in dark. That gives it some defined lines. Remember to stroke up when you're working with the beginning of the brows, creating slight hair strokes. There we go. And then I go back to the dark shade again and then filling in the rest of the brows. And then I'll go over and do this side the same way, starting with the light shade. It also comes with a definer. The definer is supposed to help shape your brows. So I'll just line it underneath and go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hughes 20 flat angle brush to pull the definer out down. Okay. Definers are just supposed to make your brows look more natural 
and it's not drawn on. And I'll do that on this side too, just defining it on the edge. Now that that is done, I am going in with my 24 hour brow setter. To enhance my eyes, the eyeshadow shade that I am going to use is in the Huda Beauty Nude Palette in the shade Tickle. And I am going to apply this shade all over on top of my eyelids. Now that my eyeshadow is sitting on top, I want to just go in with another brush, a blending brush, to blend this color out. Just blending it in and making it look more natural. So now that my shadow is all blended out, I am going to go on top with bare just to highlight the top of my brows. Next up, I am going to put on some eyeliners. And the eyeliner that I am using is from L'Oreal Paris in Jet Black. Yay, I'm pretty lucky today. My liner turned out just the way I wanted to. I'm going to go in with mascara now and then some falsies. The mascara that I love to use is from Get Big Lashes, Volume Curled from Essence in black. Okay, both sides of my eyes now have mascara on. Waiting for it to dry, I am going to contour my face, add some blush and highlighters on. I usually save my fake lashes for the last step. To contour my face, I love using the Naked Skin palette because it has the cream side that I never use. <laughs> but it also have the powder side that I use a lot. I love to contour my face with powder more than with cream. So I'm going to go in with this medium tone here, not the dark one. I rarely use the dark one. This is for me to, unless I go clubbing, go out at, during nighttime, then I wouldn't use the darkest contouring shade, but during daytime, this contouring shade is appropriate. Okay, I'm gonna dab a little. And when I'm contouring my face, I make sure I make a kissy lip. Just that way, all of my cheekbones are sticking out so I can contour. And I want to go out, upwards, in an upwards motion when I contour. So you will see it right here. See the difference on this side and then this side where I haven't contoured yet. So now that I'm done contouring my face, I'm going to take a round kabuki brush to go in with this shade and just at bake it underneath my eyes and my forehead.
I am going to contour my nose as well. I'm still using this palette. I just use a different brush. One side is to contour and one side to blend. And I'm still using this color here to contour my nose. Here we go. Okay, now that my nose is contoured as well, I am going to go in and highlight my cheeks and um, wherever I want highlights. For the lips, I am going to use Kylie Jenner Cosmetics lip kit in the shade candy k let's start out with the lip liner and it's also in candy k Definitely one of my favorite color from her line. And the blush that I'm using is from this Mort palette in the shade Unapologetic. And I am ready to put on my fake eyelashes. And for my fake eyelashes, I usually like to use the dual glue because it holds my lashes all day. Yay, my lashes are now on. So I am going to clip it up with this Tarte Eyelash Clipper. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I am very happy with how my makeup turned out. It is natural looking and I think it's perfect for any occasion. If you want to make it more intense and dramatic, you can add more eyeshadow, but I think that this is an all out look for me. Yeah, I love it. So if you enjoyed watching this video and you find it helpful, please help share it, like it, and subscribe to my channel below. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for requesting this makeup tutorial. Have a great day. Mwah.